Defeats in wars always make dictatorships weak. This is what is happening with Russia now, said the president of Ukraine, addressing the participants of the meeting of the European Council. The leaders of the EU member states, as well as the president of the European Parliament, Roberta Metzola, the president of the European Council, Charles Michel, and the president of the European Commission, were present in Brussels. Ursula von der Leyen at the conference on the reconstruction of Ukraine in London noted the progress of Kyiv on the path to European integration. Integration. This is a historic time to start negotiations on EU membership, Volodymyr Zelensky said. A Europe of values, a free and a strong Europe, a Europe of peace in unthinkable without, is unthinkable without Ukraine. And we are ready to start accession negotiations and our progress is implement, implementing the European Commission's recommendations has to be fixed. Ukraine is determined to be fully prepared for the start of accession negotiations as soon as possible, and we will do so. Brussels also hosted an EU summit, the last one during the Swedish presidency. The main topics were relations between Europe and China, as well as support for Ukraine, sanctions policy, confiscations of Russian assets, financial support. On the financial side, all told, now almost 500 days into this atrocious war that Russia unleashed, we have mobilized 70 billion euros for Ukraine since the beginning of the war. And last week, we have dispersed 9 billion euros of our 18 billion MFA package. That is the MFA for the whole of the year 2023. On the day of the EU summit, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmytro Kuleba held telephone conversation with NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg. On the eve of the NATO summit, they discussed the issue of Ukraine's accession to the alliance. Ukraine continues to work actively with all NATO allies to convince them that the time for clarity on Ukraine's membership in the alliance has come. Dmytro Kuleba, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine on Twitter. On the first day of the Spanish presidency of the Council of Europe, Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez visited Kyiv. He stressed that Ukraine can count on the long-term support of Spain and announced the allocation of a new aid package. I'm glad to announce that Spain will offer another 55 million euros to help in the reconstruction of Ukraine. 51 million euros will be managed through the World Bank and will aim to help in a small and medium enterprises. The other 4 million euros will be managed through the United Nations Development Programme and will be used to install an autonomous system of renewable energy in Ukrainian schools. Ukraine hopes that during the Spanish presidency of the Council of Europe, it will be able to strengthen its influence in Latin America, Volodymyr Zelensky said in an interview with Spanish media. It is important for Kyiv that the states of South America support the Ukrainian peace formula and join the global summit. The implementation of the Ukrainian peace plan was the topic of the conference in Copenhagen. The meeting of advisors in Copenhagen is a clear signal of respect for Ukraine and our just struggle, support for the territorial integrity of our state and sovereignty, which are the fundamental principles of the UN, which we all share. The participation of a large number of countries of the Global South demonstrates that significant positive changes are taking place in relations between our countries and reaching a qualitatively new level of relations. Andriy Yermak, head of the Office of the President of Ukraine on Telegram. In the European Union, preparations for the Global Peace Summit have been intensified. It is planned to be held before the end of the year. Reported by Roman Smoller, Valeria Nikipelova, UA TV News.